So to put the rear window in, I need to put the rear shelf in, and I would like to put the speakers in first, uh, just to save me some work of climbing back there and trying to do it there. Um, so I'm going to go over everything I'm putting in. I'm using these focals for the rear, the front, these uh, JL Audio ones, and I make tweeter pods for those tweeters that go on the doors. Um, this JL Audio 400 watt sup, or amp will be mounted in the trunk, and then this uh, JBL subwoofer that fits under a seat. I checked it, and it should fit under an E30 seat. I may need to put a spacer or something. Um, and then the head unit is just the screen. I'll get into uh, how I'm hooking that up and uh, wiring it. I've already run twisted pairs. These are just a 14 gauge, uh, I believe TXL wire. I didn't want to reuse the E30 stuff, so I just ran all new wires. Rear glass is Fu Yao. I don't know how to say that really, but uh, they're the most common Chinese brand. Um, that's what the glass place tried to give me for the front windshield. They told me this was my only option for the rear windshield, so that's what I'm stuck with. All right, I know this is gonna be a struggle. I'm reusing my old gasket, which I did in the front as well. Should be a little bit better, but it's still not fun.
these trim tools work pretty well for this, but I've used credit cards or just any kind of plastic before. I just want something that can slide. Ideally, I should be using lubricant, but I'm not. Going in dry. There we go. These little guys are really tough. I ended up pulling them apart and putting some uh, lithium grease in them. They're very difficult to pop all the way. I'll try my best to record this, but these are the kind of one-way clips. You can, I don't know if you can see, they got little teeth, um, and they go inside the back of the gutter trim. And they got to be pressed in with a screwdriver. I'll have to do it off camera because it's so hard to focus. But you get four of those in the back of the gutter trim. Okay, I snapped them in, I push them in, they'll make a positive clicking noise. I'll install this. So how the trim goes on is it hooks on to the gutter. Um, so the top half goes on first and then it pivots down and then you latch on the front. So 
So you put it on here, kind of at 90 degrees. It's hard to hook it on. And then it comes down. And those little one way clips clip on here. So I actually had to swap this plastic piece from one of the, uh, from an old mirror to get this to work. The new one's just too thin. This thing is way more of a pain than I could ever anticipate. I'm trying to keep the 
gasket, seal perfectly straight. Very difficult. It has a thin piece of aluminum that runs inside of it, and it wants to bend. <laughs> 